The worst couples ever. I come over, I come over when you're gone. Yeah, right, because I don't leave. So, no, yeah, because like she, she says you're a bum, that's why. What's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again, and in this video, I'll show some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, in this first clip, it is actually pretty insane. Basically, we have this woman who's actually expecting her man to pay for 18 of her friends for her birthday. Let's just do a quick math here. If each woman is at least $100 each, he's paying $1,800 to $2,000 for her to have her damn birthday. And not just calling him broke and cheap in front of all of them. I would have definitely broke up with her on the spot. I don't care if it's her birthday or not. <laughs> Really just should have paid for all our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody food. You it's your birthday cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why do you gotta pay for all y'all food though? You, you brought 18 friends. I'm gonna leave you. You staying you here with them or you coming with me? Nobody, my, you, nigga, you are you? Oh, bro! And this next one we have this guy because he's talking about how he caught his girl cheating on him. He's talking to the judge and stuff. And now she ends up saying some crazy things like, oh, he was getting manipulated. And I'm like, how do you manipulate him catching you cheating? You just don't do that. The various times you caught Ms. Morgan cheating. Yes, Your Honor. I actually have proof, Your Honor. Please step over to the exhibit. The first time I caught her cheating at my family home when she was picking up uh, her daughter. And I so you saw her in the car with another guy. Yes, I must have a twin that isn't me. At your family home. In the, in the car with her, and they pulled, they drove away. He's lying. So did you show up with another guy, Miss Morgan? No, Your Honor, I didn't. He's lying. So they you were never in a car with a guy? No, ma'am. No, Your Honor. They have manipulated his mind. Other family members. And this next was actually pretty sad. Basically, we have this guy. I guess everybody starts laughing at him because he works at a certain place. And I'm like, at least he's making money. Like, what do you expect? People really be roasting on other guys just because they work a nine to five. And that's absolutely ridiculous. How old you is? 22. What you do for a living? I uh, work at former Mills and uh. <laughs> Don't laugh. What's going on? What's going on? I got, I got a job. What's wrong? Right. Like, what, what's wrong with that? And this next one we have this woman who's absolutely delusional and to be honest i kind of pray that she doesn't find anybody because she's just gonna take full-on advantage of them she's basically after the bag basically she says she wants a two hundred thousand dollar diamond ring and i'm like first off the type of girl you are no one's going for that they can go for easily a younger and more attractive woman especially with lesser standards than what you have no one's trying to deal with a woman like this and realize what you provide in the relationship anyways you be cool with a guy that makes less money but he's very he's a hard worker like he's ambitious yeah Let's say he just started his own business, but he makes 45000 a year. Would you date him? He wouldn't be but able to afford my engagement ring. I'm getting an eight-carat, cushion cut vintage engagement ring. If you make $45,000 a year, it would take you what? four years? No. Eight years <laughs> to afford my how much? Ring? I've, I don't know anything about rings. How much, how much is that? About $200,000. Girl, you want a $200,000? Are you insane? I'm <laughs> Oh, my ring has to sparkle from across the street. Like you have yeah. to see that shit. It's gonna blind people. But that's so superficial. That's yeah. like so superficial. <laughs> but it's about so much more than that. It's about the fact that you can afford that, right? I go to yoga with this girl who has an eight carat diamond engagement ring. Yeah. The weed company and drives an Audi. So it's about more than just. A, it's about the fact that you can afford that. Okay. Well, I'm just thinking like. <laughs> You're gonna miss out on a lot of guys because I'm telling you, no, 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 but not not in a good way. Not in a good way. I'm telling you, like if my mom asked for that from my dad, my dad would have told her to go find a new boyfriend because there's no way in hell he was gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars on an engagement ring. You know, he's my soulmate. Everything was fine except, yeah, he was too nice. And this next one we have this girl ends up saying that it's very insecure for her man not to want her to go to the club or the bar. And it's kind of crazy that women can have their own standards and boundaries. But when men try to have their own standards, it's looked at as insecure. But when a woman wants a man who's like six foot tall and makes $300,000 a year, everybody just has to accept it. And I think it's absolute BS. She wants to party every weekend. That's a major issue. That's yeah, a major issue. I so, don't party every weekend, but if I wanted to, I would. And I'm not going to let whoever I'm dating dictate that because it mostly just roots from insecurity. What you call insecurity, I call having a boundary. <laughs> And this next was actually pretty funny. Basically, we have this guy. I guess he's getting approached by this girl, and he immediately runs off. Now, everybody was saying, oh, my God, he rejected her. In my opinion, I don't think so. I just don't think this guy is comfortable talking to another girl. And the fact that he has to act like this is pretty embarrassing. When a woman just approaches you, you start running away. I just don't understand that. And you could have just rejected her and just stood his ground. But no, he just couldn't handle the conversation, actually had to leave. And that just shows that he actually is insecure. 
Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And if you win, you get to kiss me. Are you ready? I don't know. I'm good. I gotta go. You're good? Yeah. Do you got a condom? No, I ain't got no condom. You know what you doing? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You gonna pull out? Yes. I just came back from the clinic and I found out I was pregnant. No, sorry. Hello? Hello? In this next one, we have all these women. I guess they're getting interviewed to what happens on the first date or couple dates and if they would ever pay or not. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm fine with paying on the first date. That's just the kind of guy I am. I'm not gonna go on dates if I can't even afford to go on dates. But it is obviously a very nice gesture for the woman to offer. But if they're acting like this and just doing it just to say so without actually willing to pay, I think they just got a horrible attitude in general. Purse on the first date. Yes, always. To show my fake kindness. <laughs> yeah, but my hand never, like, gets to the purse. Yeah, you don't touch. I don't touch it. I like play pretend and then I'm like, oh, there, and then they pay. Yes, of course. I do it. It's like a guilt thing. I always reach to like show them. Well, okay, the other day I dug around in here. I felt my wallet and I just kept <laughs> digging and he was waiting for me to finish digging. And then he finally just paid, but I wanted him to think I was nice. I would never cook for a man. Mother, do you think I care if you're hungry? Eat a pasta noodle. And this next was actually pretty damn sad, and I'm surprised she's actually trying to laugh this off. Basically, I guess we have this man. He's a bit overweight, and his wife decides to say something horrible to him. First off, she claims that she loves him, but in reality, she doesn't because she decides to say this to him at the end of the clip. Cause you, I'm gonna tell you why you're not worried, because you don't care. I can already see that. You're not in love with this man, and you are not treating that man like you love him. I love him. I really do. I really do love him. Hi, I really wish you I could really define do. love because I've And that's why I came today because maybe you could help us because I do love him. Here you go. Lazy. She say, I don't do this. I don't do this. I need to get up. I need to play with my son. I work 15 hours a day. So when I come in, if I go in at 5, I come back home at 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Your Honor, she had the audacity to tell me if I don't lose no freaking weight, she going to sleep with a In this next one, we have this woman once again, and I'm really surprised that everybody is allowed to post on social media how some woman can say this without any like repercussions. Saying things like you shouldn't date broke men and only rich men, because at least a rich man will leave you alone the moment you start ghosting him. I really do give up on this generation. Nobody cares about love or affection anymore. It's just about money, and it's so superficial. And a lot of you girls, I had a question like, oh, do these guys act crazy if you don't give them no pussy, whatever you want to say it. That's why I'm so picky on my victims. Who I play with, I'm so picky. Don't play, don't even give your time of day to these broke men because if you play them and they end up homeless, they're gonna be knocking on your door. You know, they're gonna go crazy on you because you literally seduced them, took all their money. That's why you go after older rich men because whatever they take is just, whatever you take is pocket change them. It's not gonna affect their life in any way. And the moment you stop giving them attention and affection, you know what they do? They go find another young girl that makes them feel young and makes them feel good and they leave you alone. Once you start answering that phone with the man voice, once you start telling them that you're busy with your business, they're going to be like, oh, my little girl grew up and they're going to go find another girl that's that they think is naive. Hi, babe. Mm, are those good? Yeah. I love you, baby. Are those good, babe? I love you. I know, but those taste good, babe. Hey, babe! Okay, babe, do those taste good? Answer the question, dang. Go ahead and say it back. Can I have some? No, say it back. Hey, you just throw a Cheeto on my head. Back. Babe, stop. Babe, I... hey, I love you babe, back. Babe, just give me a babe, Cheeto. I love you. I love you back. Babe, give me a Cheeto. No. You babe. want a Cheeto? Yeah. You want a Cheeto? Give me a Cheeto. Okay. No, say I love you back. Babe, I want it. And if I were the worst clip on the list, guys, it's when we have this guy. I guess he's calling up this other guy, the husband, to let him know that he's actually cheating with his wife. And this other guy, I guess, is getting super heated by this. And there's a, they start arguing, going back and forth. And I don't think they should have argued. But this other guy on the phone doesn't seem like he actually believes what this man is saying. And I'm like, bro, how stupid must you be? Your wife is cheating on you and you're still staying with her. I feel like this guy was trying to help him out in the beginning. But after hearing this guy's reaction, I don't blame him for flipping out on him. Well, I come over when you're gone. Yeah, right, because I don't leave. So, no, yeah, because like she, she says you're a bum. That's why you want you need to get a job and get work. That's why she doesn't want to f with you because you're oh. a f bum. You don't leave. You don't work. Really? You don't, none of that. Yeah, that's why I'm on disability. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're in. She's with you because she's sad that you can't do. Shit. 
Oh, okay. Sympathy. Yeah, that's right. She's with me because I'm sad. That's, that's no, she's sad for you. You're disabled. Oh, Your is sympathy is okay. why she's with you. She yeah. is a black right. and that's what she yeah. loves. Okay. You can't yeah, do anything. Right. Dude, you want to bet? You just said you're disabled, which means you can't do nothing. Yeah. No, I can still. No, you can't. So bro. I'm disabled. You for like okay. two, two and a half minutes. I'm a person that's dumb in your wife. Yeah, I can wish, dude. I am. I call her yeah, mouth the all playground because right. all my kids come. Bring her, bring her on the phone, please, please bring her on the phone. Yeah, okay. I'm ready to yeah. talk to her. Bring uh, her on the phone. Gonna, gonna yeah, you, like yeah. Don't do that because your feelings you will be hurt. Your feelings will be hurt. That's why you don't want to do it because you know that you're. Well, that's it, guys. So much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.